outside of my head, though. Get that cap from Venice put it on this boy's head right now. You guys. One of these days, Big Brother will need to come out and show his face because he will need to physically separate fights in the house or send a bouncer or whatever. I have never in my history of watching Big Brother, I have never seen a night as chaotic as last night. Everybody fought everybody, literally, either in a subtle way or in a loud way. It was, yo, <laughs> if I let me just give you guys all the details, right? I'm not sure I'm going to miss some, but I tried as much as I could to gather everything from the beginning of the fights to all these um, subtle fights that were happening in the background i'm just here to offload for you guys welcome back to my channel guys if you are new here please watch subscribe turn on your post notifications so that you can get notified each time i post a brand new video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up so the housemates were trying to shoot a video as regards their wager because big brother told them that they have to capture it on camera so you know they were just getting everybody together the cast the costume everything they were putting everything together Next thing I'm hearing is get the cap from Venita and put it on his head right now. I say, ah, ah, what is going on here? Is he head of house and they're talking to like this? The housemates were even surprised, like, ah, ah what's, what's happening? Get the cap from Venita, put it on this boy's head right now. Get the cap from Venita, put it on this head now. Get that cap from Venita, put it on this boy's head right now. Now, this cap in question is the cap that they're supposed to use for their play. Venita was holding one of it and Perry wanted to use it on Kidwire. According to Venita, she said that Perry was using all the accessories on Kidwire and not spreading it amongst the other chiefs. And that Perry also scolded Adekunle earlier on that he should remove his cap. Adekunle, who is equally a chief, that he should remove his cap and give it to Kidwire. And that she should want the accessories to be properly spread. Because I don't understand why you want to pack everything on kids. You need to spread accessories out. But we're spreading and giving kids a necklace. He already boxed at Adekunle that he should take off his hat. He wants to give it to kids. No, no, no. But no matter this, I'm telling you the build up of this. So at this point, Pere and Venita they were on their own matter going back and forth and then Pere told her that her job is done here, her casting job is done there, that she should get the cap and put it on his head now. I say, ah ah. Venita said no, that he can kiss her ass. He said her father can kiss it. I say, ah, wahala. Put the cap on his head now. Your job as a director, your, 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 your job is done. Put the cap on his head now. Kiss it. Your dad can kiss it. No. Hey, well done. Please now get, get the cap on his head. After some time, Sheina went and got the cap from Benita. Benita now said she's not partaking again and you know she just gingered and went upstairs. Now, I actually watched the before this thing blew out of proportion. I actually watched their back and forth, like Perry and Venita. They, there was this subtle talk between them where Perry was asking for costume, 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 and then Venita was telling him that he should that should not be his focus now, that he should focus on telling the people what they are supposed to do. But Perry was still like insisting on getting the costumes and everything. And this is actually where the fight started from. I said, Perry, please focus on directing the scene. Tell everybody what they're supposed to do. That's more important. He's all this palm request, costume waste. I've noticed what he's trying yeah, to do. When Venita went upstairs, she was spilling the unspillable about Perry. She said that when he was coming to the house, he did not have money to buy his ticket, that she was the one that he called for that. And that he's 55 years old, that he should stop lying about his age, that he's 55 years old, and that he sends his picture to people as say ha. Well, this is a whole 55 year old man that got on a plane to come inside Big Brother house when he couldn't even buy his ticket. Now me, he just said, I can't buy the ticket. You made the mistake, I will watch you finish for this place, you the man. Also, also, they said your pretty picture to everybody's so. phone. She did not stop there, though. she went further to talk about chasing people's wives and that most of the people that he has been with, they just use him and dump him and that they are here disrespecting him on national TV. She said a lot. Then she now spoke about her father, that he insulted her father that Nobody says she too send the father like that, but you know, she just um, talked about him disrespecting, I mean, uh, insulting her father. Only you go come as I am not chasing anybody's wife. We know what you do for a profession. Small, small guests, they reject you on top of television. You still don't collect respect. Collect, respect, collect, respect. Okay. Insult my papa. Well, I'm already too send right now, but insult my papa. Venita is just so dramatic, like, what was that display? As for the accusations, we do not have evidence, no evidence, so we cannot really say whether it's true or not, so we're just going to leave it at that. Me, I just gave an update. Meanwhile, Perry and Adekunle, they were still digging it out downstairs. In fact, it was Kidwire at this point. Kidwire just, you know, went at Adekunle that 
he doesn't care what's going on here he just needs a cap he should um he just needs to get a cap and then adekle naivu removed his own and gave it to him removed his bead i was now saying that um this is something that's supposed to have settled amicably that they are all adults then Adekle was now talking about the manner of approach that the directors have been using to address them that they are all adults and they need to apply emotional intelligence Sister now told him that he should direct direct his complaints to the right person and then he now said that he's talking to the two directors of which she is part of Perry is also part of the directors and then Angel was playing the role of a director so I, I don't know whether he was mistaken or something because Cecil was not actually like going off at this point so maybe he was speaking about Angel and Perry. You are directing, I suppose that emotional intelligence is not going to work. We need everybody to respect everybody. I think everybody. 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 talk to the right person. I sent it to people. We are all adults here. Everybody. Everybody. We know our jobs. In the case of emotional intelligence, if you keep yelling at people, nobody is yelling at us. Nobody is yelling at us. That's what I'm saying. If you keep yelling at us, we are adults. Then on the side, Messi and Uriel, they were also having their own back and forth. This Messi and Uriel's fight did not start in the night. started during the day and a lot of things have happened around it. But um, well, that's going to be for another video because their own matter is long at this point. So Uriel, um, somebody said something which I didn't hear. Uriel now said that she agrees with that person. And then Messi now said that, you know, she's fond of instigating things. And she's like, what is she instigating? And that said, they now had their mini back and forth. People that did not turn on their mic. I see people like, you know what, maybe here, gist. <laughs> Then at some point, Adekule stood up and was moving away from the table. They were not telling him that he should sit down so that, you know, they can start and get something done. Adekule now started ginging that he has been sitting down here since and nothing has been happening. And after some time, he just flipped like from zero, I mean, from 100 to like 1 million. <laughs> Adekule was just saying that he wasn't leaving the table, that himself and Kidwaya wanted to have a conversation. Meanwhile, the back and forth between him and Pere still continued. He was now talking about the emotional intelligence thing, that they're not addressing them as adults. Pere was now going, you will sit down, you must sit down now, or leave my set and say ha. Adekule said, it's not your set, this is Big Brother's dining table. <laughs> Then Alex and Angel had their own mini back and forth. Alex went to the other side of the table. Angel was now scolding her that she should go back to her side, that she go to her side. Alex was now trying to explain that she wanted to find out something and you know Angel wasn't really listening. They were just, they now started going back and forth at each other. She just carried her away before they would start their own wahala. <laughs> Alex and Angel actually sorted their own issues out moments later. Angel apologized to her for talking to her like that. Now, phase one of the fight was over. They finally decided that it was time for them to start filming, right? They now, um, you know, the first scene came up. They, the actors came in, you know, started doing the first scene. And then Angel now brought something to their attention that there's a part they did not include. Fraud was already tired at this point. He wasn't just having it, right? And he was saying that he just wanted to say his own lines. Angel was trying to explain to him the importance of that part. And he was not just having it. He said they did not mention it earlier on. The, the actors did not know about that part earlier on. You know, the I want to shoot. I'm trying to establish how long Adekule was now saying that this is not going to work, that all of them are tired, that they would have sorted out these issues since Sissy now faced him and I was like, how would they have sorted it out? And then, you know, they now started going back and forth. She was not like that all of them in the house are full of shit. They should have sorted this internally. The more this thing is happening, the more people are going to get from this point. Everybody doing it. C.O.P.O. I'm not aware of Jack's shit. You are full of shit. Let me just say Everybody relax. At this point, everybody was now vexing. Angel said she's not doing a year. In fact, she's going to bed. She told them good night. And then Sissy was now saying that 
she doesn't want to understand why this is so, such a big deal and then why people are getting angry and all of that that when they were doing the writing the casting nobody interrupted them or they did not have a lot of interruptions now that it's time for directing everybody wants to be a director <laughs> The NCC and Soma, I don't even know what exactly caused their own matter, but I know that Soma was saying something and the NCC replied him and was, you know, working out. Um, Soma wanted to know what the situation was. They now carried him out before another issue would come out of there. They just moved him away from there. <laughs> Then at this point, Angel was in the garden expressing her anger about the fact that the directors were not present when they were writing the script. Alex also said the same thing, that if they were involved, if they, if they were present, they would have known what is supposed to happen when. Shei was just there to keep the peace. Like, Shei was the peacemaker last night trying to calm everybody down. Where were they when I was, they were practicing? Imagine the writing script for how many days, how many nights? Not for, we did not see to say, can you explain this? Thank you. And you are telling me that she will not, she will not have this so much and this thing. She will not have to dance and, and they try to explain to fraud. We should not just shout inside my ear. Shei was still trying to like, you know, calm the situation down. And then Sissy now responded to what they were saying. She said that they should come and say it in her front. Angel now attacked her and said that she's going to say it in her front. That when she was awake all night, that she was awake writing the script all night till 6 a.m. And they were sleeping. And now they are trying to, you know, control the situation. I will say it. Angel, where are you there? I sat on this chair. You guys were sleeping till 6 a.m. I did a shot for my head. They tell me how my own scripts they go and get crazy. Now, Ike contributed to this somehow because there's a time that he carried the script upstairs and, you know, they were not really able to go through it. But I feel like as directors, you're supposed to understand the script properly before even bringing the actors on set because it's going to cause all those mistakes to now happen on set, right? And then um, the statement that Sissy made of, like, the, them being full of shit touched some buttons. Mm -hmm. Sissy was sleeping. After gym, I know if even gym, two days. Have I used the gym? I did gym to sleep. Why? Because I'm writing scripts. Meanwhile, Angel was still going off about the fact that she was trying to establish something and fraud was just shouting. So she now faced fraud. Fraud was just there <laughs> sipping his drink. He did not respond to her. Fraud, they say, I never asked before. Why you not come write the script for nights? You they shout for me, they crazy. Your head. Then Perry and Sissy, they were on the same side last night as per directors. And I was like, ah, maybe this is what they are going to use to reconcile. Meanwhile, Ike was upstairs lounging while all of this was happening. He actually told them to go to bed that they will continue today. But they said, you know, let them still go on. And then all of these fights happened. And then he was outside at some point talking to Perry and Sissy about what Venita was saying, although he not reveal everything, but he was just saying that Venita has been like trying to poke and then they now spoke about Venita and Adikule sheep. Sissy said she heard that it's a strategy. I say her. Later on, Ike was now revealing everything that Venita said to Sissy in the room. I say ha. Ike, you're gonna cause problem in this house. So you didn't even wait for the parrots to come and reveal it. He just <laughs> said what you needed to say. And obviously that might get to me. In fact, I don't even know Seth. Whatever wants to happen with the information, that will consign them. Then they did not end up practicing again. Everybody just, you know, went to bed and that was it. I don't know if they've continued today, but I hope they did not because at this point, it is getting too much. So, you guys, <laughs> that was a whole lot. The two people that Big Brother spoke to about airing their minds went off yesterday. That's Adekule and Uriel. Big Brother, you're part of this problem, <laughs> right? so that's it for this video thanks for watching and don't forget to give it a thumbs up i'm going to see you on the next one bye i love you